Hey guys, it's Edsoy from Shade coming at you. So today I want to talk about the Clarified Online Closed Beta. So the beta just started. So codes have gone out. The Closed Beta is now active. You can still participate for any of those who have been lucky enough to receive a Closed Beta code. So let's talk about some things we learned so far. So so far, as you can see on screen, is uh, daily quests. So daily quests come up as green while weekly quests come up as orange. So as you can see your daily quests now like Hearthstone is when you win 5 you get 100 gold. Now it's you win 5, you, uh, G5 wins you get uh, 300 gold which is the same as one packs because right now in the game you can buy 4,000, you can buy a trial deck, you can buy uh, for 300 you can buy one pack of GVD1 that's the only set that's out there are promos and other stuff in here already but um, quick note is in GVD1 in the pack there are some cards missing such as the cross and stuff like that anything that requires support from all the sets is not there um, so if T5 wins you get 300 gold which is one pack there's also sleeves for 300 you have avatars and stuff and you do have playmats. Um, so far, it's just basically changes in color. Not too much, not too fancy right now. We'll probably see more fancy stuff as the game finalizes, as uh, when it comes out, or during the beta, they may add some more uh, content. Uh, just a quick note: this is a closed beta, so stuff is subject to change. Um, it might it might be less wins when the game comes out to get to 300 gold from the daily quest. It might be less. Stuff might cost cheaper, maybe easier to earn, maybe harder to earn, um, new things. So again, this is a closed beta, it means it's not final, nothing is set in stone yet. This is just what we know from the beta. Uh, it's subject to change. It's not the final product. Okay, uh, enough of that. So uh, first uh, quest you'll get is again, just achieve 5 wins, get 300 gold for daily, and then you'll get 1,000 gold. So that's enough there to get you like 3 packs, and then you have like 100 gold left over. Now another thing to really mention is that you can get thirty. You get thirty gold each time you win. So each time you win, you'll achieve, you'll get thirty gold. So let's say you win ten games. So you'll be able to earn two packs because ten times thirty gold is uh, times ten times thirty is three hundred. So it's three hundred gold. That's enough for one pack. Plus you got the daily quest of winning five times. So that's three hundred. So that's two packs right there. So if you just win ten games, that be uh, two packs right there. And so you can still go and play the grind out game to earn packs, but I believe Bush Road's already stated that they're going to be trying focusing on creating a way to get packs through, like how Pokemon gets packs through a bit of codes. So when you get a pack, you should be able, uh, that you might get instead of the advertisement that we've been getting that people this usually just throw away and discard. You'll be getting the code for Cardfight Online for a pack. So that's another way to earn. So as you get packs, the locals will go into a tournament or stuff or buying packs from boxes and stuff or just getting packs, loose packs, you also get a code. I don't know when they're going to incorporate this or if they will because they have said they've been, they want to do something like this, but we don't know when. So hopefully when the real beta, when the real version comes out, the final version comes out, Carfight Online, we do get this right into our packs. Um, it will be very good and uh, we'll definitely make this uh, program last. Uh, Right now, there's currently no way to buy into the beta, and also for anyone who has a beta, make sure you know this: that one, everything will get wiped clean at the end of the beta. Meaning, you can't take this over to your when the game comes out, the full version. You won't be able to take anything you've earned to that one. You'll have to redo everything. So another thing is the crafting system. There's actually an exploit in the crafting system. So right now, as you can see on screen, it is disenchant extreme battle or victor for one thousand. Create Extreme Valor Victor for 100 CP points. CP points are crafting points. You can earn them by disenchanting cards and stuff like that. Same thing in Hearthstone. If you guys have played Hearthstone, you probably will be more familiar with it. Um, which this program seems to be really close to Hearthstone in its uh, way it is made. Um, so right now, if you guys have the beta, uh, quickly you guys should take be able to abuse this right away. To get infinite CP, because if you go ahead and disenchant one of your cards, get CP, you'll get like a thousand. Because most all the cards here are like disenchant, get a thousand, create just a hundred. So you can create every card for a hundred. So what you do is just go get like a card like Extreme Battle Victor, create it, 
disenchant to get a thousand right back. You already got nine hundred extra right there, right out of your pocket. So you go keep doing this over again. You go create, disenchant, create, disenchant, or create, create, disenchant, disenchant. This way, you'll be able to go ahead and get every single card unlocked and be able to play every deck right away, every card, get everything right away immediately. So that'd be really good. Um, they probably fix this because this is really broken. It's really it's a big exploit and it's not a very good mechanic for the game, especially when they want people to play it and grind out the cards. I mean, this way is pretty cool. So um, it's a pretty easy way to get it, but it's probably going to get fixed soon. So if you have the bait, I suggest you go ahead and do this real quick. You get every card, get yourself like a bunch of CP in case they add cards later on. I'll probably stop at like a hundred thousand if I were you, because it's like only hundred and stuff. And S and by the way, if you're wanting triple R and SP, yeah, they're both a thousand. So SP Victor it is a thousand, triple R Victor it is a thousand. So pretty much everything right now for like disenchanting, and it's a hundred for every single card in here to create SP, triple R, whatever. It's the same thing, and it's it's all the same thing for disenchanting. So um, in terms of decks, if you want to know like what deck you should be focused on building, I suggest Number one, Nova Grappler's Extreme Ballad because it has everything in the set, everything to build the deck in the set for GBD01 and stuff. And then second would be Gear Chronicles. Again, because they have everything they need so far in th for the older version of the deck um, from GBD01 and the trial deck. Next up would probably be Kagra. Uh, those are my top three ones because Kagra does have a build they can do, and uh, but it won't be the cross, it'll be the Dragonic Stride. I can't remember the full name, but um, be that. And then you have the Nova Grappler and Gear Chronicle. Again, they have all the stuff they need. I don't suggest OTT and Link Joker, Aqua Force, uh, Neo Nectar, because one, they only have the trial deck right now for Neo Nectar and Link Joker and Aqua Force. Two, for OTT, you're missing like pretty much most of the stuff. You can still build a deck, don't get me wrong. You can still build it, but you won't be able to build it to its full strength. Meaning you don't have Silent Tom, you don't have like Coco and the starter, you don't have like uh, the Tsukiyomi Riot for like the main build that you people would usually play in, the, in OTT. So you have to be playing like a build that's not as competitive and not as strong before because again, you only have GB to 1 and you have some promos. Um, so in case somebody want, uh, in case I forgot to state it, again, it's 300 gold per pack, 1000 gold for trial deck. Uh, 300 gold for sleeves and character at like avatars and for uh, playmats. Uh, right now the playmats are just like different colors like hot pink and stuff. It's cool, but we'll probably see more. The sleeves aren't bad. Uh, there's some Royal Paladin ones, some other stuff. Nova Grapplers is like the main stride stuff and trial deck stuff. Um, that's my suggestions. So if you have the beta right now, go ahead and abuse this disenchant and create systems. So this way you can get every single card right away. Um, you do lose the benefit of going through it normally, but you can also play through it normally. Um, and also, if you want to be like number one ranked, because there is kind of ranked on this or on the beta already. So if you want to be like number one ranked in it, you can go ahead and do that. So you can play ranked, be the boss. Especially if you're a Nova Grapper player, this is your time to shine. Or Gear Chronicle player, this is your time to shine before all the other sets come out. Um, if they put set two out, they can definitely play Aqua Force because you got Labro Labros there and other stuff like that. So that's just my recommendation right now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've been rambling out long enough. Um, if you guys got your beta keys, then good job for you. Lucky you. But uh, for those who don't, I'll try and bring up as much information as I can find possible about the beta, any fixes, um, any information that comes out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like and a comment if you did so. And have a good day.